So this is a Panke Survival First Aid Kit. This company contacted me via email and wanted me to review this. And I, I kind of wanted to have a first aid kit to keep in my truck, so I decided to review it. And I've had this for like a month and a half. I just haven't got around to reviewing it because I've been busy with moving and I've been trying to work on other things after work and I haven't been putting much effort towards making videos. And I wanted to test out one thing on this, which you'll see it toward later on this video. So it came with this fishing line set up. There was two lines. Then I think this one I took apart yesterday was like 10 feet long. It's kind of all balled up now. And it came with two swivels. It came with this one plastic and like a size eight hook. And it came with a size four hook. Two little round split shots, two swivels, and two of these funny looking yellow float things and a squid, a little squid like plastic. And cheating with worms, I'm I'll just wait. And also it came with an a rain punch, an adult one size fits all rain poncho. Back when we were younger, my dad called this a Mickey Mouse rain poncho because it was so so bad. It came with an emergency blanket. I should see if I actually stay warm with this. It came with this pair of gloves. I doubt they fit on my big hands. I guess I can see. It's not even going on the right way. I about ripped them trying to put them on my hands. They fit, but not very well. They're probably like medium size or maybe large size. They're pretty small on my hands. And all this white stuff is falling off of them, just taking them on and off. <laughs> and then it came with a first aid kit. And there is some bandages. A tweez a tweezers, which I don't know if this would actually pull a sliver out of you, but it's a tweezers. A scissors. I guess we can see how sharp the scissors is here. Wow, it cuts through paper at least. I don't know how much it would cut through anything thicker. Some Q tips. Some bandage triangular. Oh, so to wrap your arm up with a triangular bandage. It came with a PBT bandage. It came with some other tape. It came with some more PBT bandage. And a non-woven pad. Another non-woven pad. A band-aid. A couple band-aids. Some alcohol pads. Some more alcohol pads. Another smaller bandage. And what are these? Iodine prep pads. Some iodine prep pads. Some more alcohol pads. And some more bandages. And some plastic, some type of plastic bandage to put on you. And it also came with this saw, this cable saw which I tested out. That will be included later on in this video. It came with this buckle thing here. I should have the technical terms. It came with a, a knife. I guess I don't know how sharp this knife is. I could see. I guess cut, testing if it'll cut paper is not a very good idea. I don't know. I should have some, use it to cut, cut bait or something. It comes with a combination compass whistle. We'll have to see what the whistle sounds like. People who live above me are probably like, what the heck is going on? It has a compass on both sides of it. Oh, on one side it says the direction. 
And it also came with this military grade tactical flashlight with which did not include a battery. This is a D no the D-ring carabiner already talked. This must be like some other type of water bottle holder. This I think is a fire starter, but I could be wrong. And this is some cord that it came with. And here's the multi-tool, which I don't I think I didn't include when I previously just watched through what I recorded. Anyways, I tried to cut wood with this part and it did not work very well. I'll include that. I guess I could try to take a screw out of something. I don't have anything, a screw I put into anything right here where I'm gonna test it out. But the it didn't cut very well through cotton wood. So I'll include that. I'm gonna include testing out some other part of it. So I'll add that to this video. This out. So we need this little knife blade. Am I doing this the wrong way or is this just horrible? That saw does not work very well. Yes. This will probably work a little better. This set does not work very well. I just ended up breaking it. That's not very, doesn't work very well. So I give these saws probably a D, D minor. They do not work very well. I guess the company won't be sending me anything more new to review than though if I grade them that bad. So that was a good start to my day of fishing, catching a plastic bay. So let's see what this is like. I should have put this in my camera stand, which I think is sitting in my truck. So there's some fishing line. I don't know how long this is. Let's take this apart. This is fairly long. Okay, and then what else is in here? Are these floats? These must be floats. And then there's this squid-like plastic and a plastic worm, a swivel. Two hooks and a little split shot. So I'm going to tie a hook onto one end of this. We'll put that little split shot on it. And we're just going to drop it along the edge here. We're going to try it with the plastic too. I almost should have tried this at the lake I was camping at. There probably would have been some green sun pushing the rocks there. 
So then I'm gonna put some weight on this. I know I'm not finding bait in this, that's not fair, but I don't really have time to search for bait. And I guess I could find some interesting insects here, but I don't really feel like doing that. So let's start fishing by hand. We're just dropping it down on the edge, hoping some green sunfish are living along there. And we're just going to jig it and move it along this edge. The one came up and hit at it. I think it hit at the swivel though. Wow, that was really easy. That was way too easy. Now I better eat that for survival too. It's another monster. Is there another greenie? Yes, it's another greenie. Another greenie. We need to see if we can get one to hit the plastic from the actual kit though. So the saw was saws were terrible that came with this survival first aid kit. But the fishing and I couldn't catch anything on the actual plastic that came with it. I should have actually tried that where I was camping last week because I was catching some green sunfish there too. I guess there's there are smallies hanging out real close to shore there too. You could maybe one of them would have hit that by shore. But anyways, I haven't posted that video yet. And I I just hit, I only recorded some video off my phone that day anyways. So anyways, this kit is pretty cheap, but some of the stuff in it'll work. I'm just gonna keep it in my truck. Probably not use it very much. That'll be it for this video. And I give this an incomplete grade.